Hello everyone. This is CA Vandita Sarda from Actuators Educational Institute. And today I'm going to be talking about what benefit do CAs have in actuarial science. So if we begin at the very first step, which is the ACET, the entrance exam from IEI. The UK Institute may, there is no entrance exam. Indian Institute say if you start appearing for papers, the entry point itself is exempt for you, which means you have direct entry into the course. Now, if we come to the first level, which is CM1 and CM2, CM1 and CM2, largest chunks are finance based. Basics of investment, basics of present value, different uh, risk management models. Uske baad CM2 focusing on the capital markets, derivatives, etc. All of which is covered in CA, especially in FM and SFM. CS1, CS2, I would say, are the two papers just me kisi CA ko sabse zada mehnat karna padega in actuarial science. Because these two papers are the only two papers where there is not much correlation with the Chartered Accountancy course. At the same time, not just the content, but also iske saath mein there is R programming, which is something new for CAs. But end of the day, CAs ko challenge to pasand hai. CM1, CM2, maybe there is Excel. Again, some, an application where CAs excel. CB1, CB2. CB1, CB2 jo hai, it is business accounts or business finance and business economics. Again, business finance, major portion of the paper is something that we have already covered in our chartered accountancy course. Business economics, maybe micro and macro economics, come main portions are covered in our curriculum. CB3 is a business simulation game wherein no prior knowledge is anywhere required and at the same time, these require good strategies and good analytical skills. So, isile CB3 as a paper itself is easy for us. Coming to the next level of examinations, CP1 is actuarial practice, wherein all the knowledge we have is applied in the paper. Real life situations where we have to apply whatever knowledge we have gained from here. Now, this is a completely theoretical paper. So, isilye there is not much effort required as such. We just need to have general knowledge about all the topics. CP2 and CP3. Again, two papers where CAs can have it really easy. CP2 is a modeling paper where we will have to build models and write audit trails for them on Excel. So, again, this is something as chartered accountants we have always done. CP3 is communication. Communication may they test our skills wherein how easily and how efficiently are we able to communicate the points to our clients. SP0 again an exemption for chartered accountants. Qunki specialization may at the SP level you just have to appear for one paper instead of two, and SP0 ke naam pe you get an exemption. The other paper you can go for is SP5. Or if you want, you can even go for SP6 because as chartered accountants, finance is our strong point and it would obviously make sense to go for a finance specialization. SP5 and SA7 are the investment and finance specialization papers in actuarial science, which is again a large portion covered already in CA course. As CA course is the base for these papers, there is some advanced level uh, topics but again, completely based on Chartered Accountancy curriculum. So as a Chartered Accountant, if you opt for Actuarial Science, most of the course is nothing for you. Because itna sara correlation hai in nearly all the papers that it is very easy to crack Actuarial Science after your Chartered Accountancy. For more details, you can always contact us on any of our handles. Thank you so much.